I'm gonna run And nothing's gonna stop me now No hurdles gonna bring me down Cause I am going I'm going from the crowd I'm going from the yeah. crowd yeah. I'm going from the crowd oh. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 11 says for both he that sanctified and they who are sanctified are all one for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brothers now let me read it to you from the latest We who have been made holy by Jesus now have the same father as he had. That is why Jesus is not ashamed to call us his brothers. Father, I stretch my hands to you. And there's no other help I know. Yet thou art the throne. Kiss again, Lord, I'm standing behind this sacred desk. And ask God that you will hold me down into your soul, I pray. Bring me up with power and high power in the name of Jesus. I know it me from the crown of my head to the very soles of my feet. Take none of my inadequacies, none of my ways, and it was you. Now let the words of my mouth, the meditation of our hearts, be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. For it's in the name of Jesus Christ we do pray. And the redeemer of the Lord say, Amen. Amen. From this one verse of scripture, Hebrews, I want to preach today on this family and strange day. Our family portrait. Our family portrait. Holidays, weddings, graduation, yes, even funerals are a great time to take family It's not often, my brothers and sisters, that we gather everyone together in the same place. For well, most of our families are scattered all over the country, all over the city or, or the state. Some are even around the globe. And so when we come together for any occasion, even funerals, there's usually a lot of thinking going on. Am I right about it? The snapshots are our attempt to preserve our connection. Some families set aside a day to take professional family portraits. The photographer will either come to your house or arrange a time in his studio for that event. The family takes great care in deciding what they will wear. So they appear unified in the picture. You've been there, have you? There are other factors also that are equally important. There's lighting, the backdrop and the facial expression. All of these factors lend their support to create a beautiful family portrait. Now I, I know that I'm right because I've been doing this long enough that a lot of us take selfies. We take selfies and you got to have that right light, you got to have the right background. In order to get the picture or the look that you're looking for. Family is important because it fills us with a sense of belonging. We feel connected and aligned. There are those who, amen, have lost 
throughout the Bible. The fulfill of a physical and emotional need. We can always count on family to be there when we need them. Am I right or not? But there is, there is another family more important than the first. It too is connected by a bloodline. And it too cares for our physical and emotional needs. But, my brothers and sisters, it has an added benefit. In other words, it cares for our spiritual needs as well. And so, in our scripture text today, the writer of this verse in the book of Hebrews has gathered all of us together for a new kind of family One that will meet all of our needs. Uh -huh. And the picture uh, he takes is one that you will be proud to hang over your back. The Hebrew writer, amen, who uh, most theologians believe, amen, to be the apostle says that we are family. He's referring to those who have been drafted into the family of God by the blood of Jesus Christ. In one simple verse, Paul paints a beautiful portrait of a very special family. But there's a catch. There's a catch. And the catch is you have to be pre-qualified for this course. In other words, uh, it is an invitation only. Uh -huh. And the invitation has three stipulations. Three points. And we're going home. First, he says you must be We must be in the world, but not of the world. Have I got a witness here? We must be bound by this common thread that separates us because we have turned away from the world and the world sin. We must. How we can 
our morning prayer for the schools that we pray to the Lord that He would guide us and help us along the way. And then we go out and get all happy. Thank you. 